Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This was my YouTube studio, but now it's turned into my YouTube stroke working from home studio for obvious reasons. Now today I have a Huawei P40 Lite. Everyone's talking about P40 Pro, P40, not many about the P40 Lite. So I paid 240 pounds for this off eBay. It's a mid-range smartphone by Huawei has a plastic back, plastic frame, and a glass front. So they're saving on money using plastic for most of the phone. Now in the box comes a USB type C charging cable, a huge 40 watt super fast charger, earphones, manuals, and a SIM tray ejector tool. So I'll show you around the phone quickly. USB type C, 3.5 mm socket, speaker, and a microphone. Now on the side, we've seen this quite a few times now, the power button with integrated fingerprint sensor and volume rocker. Now this is also clicky as well. At the top we have a microphone and the side you can see the SIM tray. So you can see you can have two nano SIMs, no expandable storage. So if we turn it on, specifications wise, it's powered by the Kirin 810 octa-core processor has six gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Huawei. Now what is quite impressive on the back is the quad camera setup. And the actual design doesn't look too bad at all. So even though it's a plastic back, it does look very, very shiny and glossy. Something that I do like. So at the four lenses, we have a 48 megapixel, an eight megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor, which is pretty standard nowadays on the newer devices. And the front facing camera, it is a 16 megapixel selfie camera with the hole punch at the top left hand corner. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Here she is guys, 1080p, 6.4 inch LCD display, which looks really nice. Fingerprint sensor set up and I can tell you it's quick. Really, really quick. Very impressed so far. Now, obviously the big, big stumbling block for a lot of people might be the fact that this doesn't come with Android services or anything like that. So you have to sign in or create a Huawei account. Uh, so this is where you'll be getting all your apps from, the their app store. Huawei, as you can see here, look the Snapchat on there. And imagine the majority of apps available on here are available on Google as well. I say that, but I've typed in Call of Duty. There's a game called Call of Modern War Duty. So, <laughs> not quite the same. Um, so this is going to be the stumbling block, I think. I don't know whether I can actually make the jump over from Google to this. But for those of you who can, I mean, there's TikTok on there. Whoever uses TikTok. And obviously I have all my contacts synced on Google, so I need to import all my new contacts into this phone. That's gonna be a pain as well. But Huawei are making some beautiful phones. The P40 and the P40 Pro look absolutely stunning. And the P40 Lite seems a bit of a powerhouse. So we'll be testing it as much as I can. I will try and get some gaming done on this as well. Uh, but this is the interface, obviously the, the Huawei operating system. If we go down to about phone. Huawei build number 10. You can see some of the specifications there as well. 1080p, 6 gigs of RAM, 810 Kirin processor. So really nice, well-built smartphone. I want to look now at the camera. So if we take a normal photo, 48 megapixel resolution. That looks quite excellent, really. Really good. Okay, so switch to portrait mode, but it says no faces detected. So I'm going to get a little bit closer here because there'll be some sort of natural bokeh effect anyway. Let's have a look. And that looks really, really good. There is a sort of natural blur at the background anyway. That looks crisp and very, very vibrant. Let's go back to normal photo mode. And at the bottom, you can see it's standard zoom. So let's, uh, where's the ultra wide? There we go. So here we have an ultra wide shot. There we go. 
image quality looks very good on there as well that's great if we go back in now and then let's do a two times zoom and even that two times zoom quality looks pretty decent but it does have the macro lens so we can select super macro So optimal shooting distance is four centimeters and that is really close and that I'd say it's pretty decent as well that's up super close that's great let's try some video now then so it can shoot up to 1080p don't want beauty mode on that's off okay let's la launch video so guys we have the Huawei P40 Lite. This is shooting at 1080p on the rear camera. Let me know your thoughts on image quality, sound quality as well, obviously. And obviously, a focusing, autofocus, which seems to be operating fine. I don't think there's any stabilization by the looks of this. But I think the quality is definitely there. Definitely got a decent quality in the video. Let's switch it to the front. Switch to photo mode at the front and take a normal photo. That's excellent image quality. Really, really good. Go back and try bokeh portrait. That's certainly worked, not done a bad job there. See around the edge, the hair is a little bit blurry, the edge detection could be a little bit better. But I think overall, it's a good job video. 1080p video. Here we go. So 1080p guys on the Huawei P40 Lite front facing camera. What do you guys think? This is right in front of the window, so the light is great in here. I think it makes my cheeks look a little bit redder than what they actually are. Um, not bad. Okay, so that was the camera test, and very, very impressed on this mid-range device. Seems to have a decent camera setup. I'm going to test some video and one another disappointing thing when you type in YouTube in the Huawei store you just get the YouTube website so it just basically takes you to the browser so you have to use obviously the browser version so this is YouTube in a browser web browser it's not the application it is running at 1080p and there's no doubt in the the, the quality of the display is really nice Seems to have smooth playback as well, but you know on the YouTube app where you can pinch zoom, you can't do that within the browser. So things that you're used to on Google will not work the same on Huawei, unfortunately. But in terms of hardware and quality, it's very good. So we can now test the loudspeaker. It's got some volume to it. No problems there with the loudspeaker guys plenty of volume and good sound quality throughout so that is the first look at the Huawei P40 Lite there's no questioning the hardware the craftsmanship it is a beautiful device performs really well quick nippy but there's the dreaded jump from Google to to Huawei software basically that's a stumbling block for many people maybe if you can look past that, it could be great. It could be really, really great. That is it, guys.
any questions please comment down below i'll leave a link in there as well if you want to purchase one of these but please give the video a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you very soon bye bye